Hey guys, welcome back to Beast Quest series number 28, book 3, Captiva the Shrieking Siren. Now, as you can tell before I'm going into this, I'm doing this with a audio method for a change instead of the, the basic visual of seeing the book in my room. That's because I don't really have an, a, a good tripod to keep, it, to keep up the camera, so that's why this is what it is. And it's always good for a nice change. So... Uh, here we are with book three as we continue on the series of 28 now. So, Captive of the Shrieking Siren. So like always, in the story analysis and then uh, my overall thoughts on this epic adventure. So make sure you've read this book before watching this review, unless you don't care for spoilers. Anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, our heroes met Malvel, who demanded the jewel, which was pointless by... Uh, which was pointless as Malvel was was denied and he summoned a breeze into making them lose their enchanted map Zorto, or sorry Zarlo because you know how Marvel is, he wants the jewel to get out of the prison realm, heroes are like no, so Marvel's like I'll screw you guys over, our heroes walk on through a creepy forest which turns out to be alive, they encounter dead birds and they feel, felt bad walking through it until they found M Myandra's trident um, the, he the forest appeared to be giving off some strange voices that split our heroes apart. Tom found Myandra, who explained she she heard about she heard her mother, and Tom realised that they should be more careful as Tom felt it was suspicious on my on Myandra's trap. You know, Captiva pl Captiva plays mind tricks which l look with our heroes through the forest, leading them towards herself. Our heroes face Captiva. They were, appeared to be winning, however, they, the more they fought, the weaker our heroes became. They felt it best to retreat to beat her, probably, however, Eleanor got a broke. However, in the scuffle, of course, Eleanor got a broken leg. Tom tells Myandra to watch Eleanor and he heal her with his jewel, while Tom lures Captiva out of the forest. He, fought, he fails, gets captured, and gets his ass kicked. Then she lures Eleanor in for double punishment. Eleanor wise to Captiva's trick, and Tom broke free. Myandra did her act of heroism by blocking Captiva's mouth so she could choke on her own amber, not wanting to die without victory. She wanted to make Myandra pay for what she's, you know, trying to do to her with the choking and all that, so she took her away. Tom followed, followed, ignoring Captiva's impression of Malvel, and then, then strikes Captiva down, freeing Myandra, and they send her home. Tom followed. Tom followed, ignoring captivism. Yeah, I read that one. So yeah, and yes. Oh, yeah, I'm already caught up then. But yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, my little read down of the story of a uh, of a uh, captiva. Uh, overall, it's a nice, enchanting tale. Uh, it's nice to see a tree beast portrayed in a different way how it normally is, and it does make into an probably the best tree beast. But again, there's so much competition for that. Um, as for the story, it's pretty good. As for the characters, Tom, he's more of the main character for this, I would say, than Eleanor is. That's just me a bit more focused on his doubts and all that as a hero, putting people, people's lives on the line. Eleanor, she's there, but to be fair, she's kind of, in this book, it feels like she's kind of, you know, used as a crutch, literally, to uh, progress the story. As like, oh, I need to rescue her, so I need to do this kind of thing. Myandra, I do like her character. She is very honourable. She appreciated what Tom did for her and was very honour bound to repay that debt, and she did. I was expecting sort of a sacrifice, but I'm glad she didn't die. Uh, then, of course, we have the Beast Captiva, who is a interesting beast using her amber and her voice mimic mimicry, and she's able to. Her presence alone can make forests her domain. It gives her a field advantage to trick her enemies, so a lot of useful abilities there, so good to hear from Captiva. So overall guys, this has been my uh, read through of uh, Captiva, the, the Shrieking Siren. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, book, if you did, and this review of course. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, that good stuff, hit the notification bell right down below, and I'll see you guys for the finale of this series. Till next time, like always, peace out.